In this problem, we're told in the fastest measured tennis serve, the ball left the racket at 73.14 meters per second. A served tennis ball is typically in contact with a racket for 30 milliseconds and starts from rest. Assume constant acceleration. In A, it tells us to find the ball's acceleration during the serve. In B, it says uh, to find how far the ball traveled during the serve. So I try to draw an image of what's going on here. So we have this racket hitting this ball. And so when it leaves uh, the racket, it's going to be traveling at 73.14 milliseconds. And so we know that it's in contact for 30 milliseconds. So before we uh, solve the problem, I always like to write down what's given. So here's our given. So what are we given? So if you look here, we have the kinematic equations. And so what we want to do is find each of these variables. And some of them we aren't given, so we're just going to uh, set it equal to a question mark because we don't know. But let's just go ahead and write them all down. So one of them is going to be v, and v is going to be our final velocity. Uh, we also have v sub 0, uh, which is our initial velocity. There's a, which is acceleration. Uh, there's t, which is time. And then delta x, which is uh, the change in the x position. So let's go ahead and start with v. And so they tell us v. So v is going to be our final velocity. And in, th in this case, it's going to be the velocity when it leaves the racket. So it's going to be 73.14 meters per second. Our initial velocity, they tell us that the rackets or the ball starts from rest, right? Uh, so it says starts from rest. And when something says it's at rest, we know uh, if it's at rest, it's not moving. So it's traveling zero meters per second. So if they tell you it's at rest, just assume zero meters per second. Uh, in A, they tell us to find the ball's acceleration. So we don't know A yet, and that's what we're going to have to find. And then in time, they tell us it's going to be uh, in contact uh, with the racket for 30 milliseconds. So 30 milliseconds is going to be our time. And then in B, it says how far did the ball travel during the serve, which is just delta x, uh, delta x, which is just the change in the position. So we don't know delta x either, so I'm going to set that to a question mark. So the first thing that we have to do and make sure is that our units align. So you should notice that time is in uh, milliseconds and velocity, both of our velocities are in meters per second. So what we have to do is change this to uh, seconds, right? Because this is in seconds. So if we have 30 milliseconds, we know that for every 1,000 milliseconds, there's going to be one second. So if you want to convert 30 milliseconds to seconds, you just have to divide it by 1,000. And so if you go ahead and divide it by 1,000, 30 divided by 1,000 is going to be 0 0.03. So 0 0.03 seconds. So make sure you have your units aligned. So now we have 0 0.03 seconds. So now what we want to do is use these equations. And so the first thing that we're trying to solve for is uh, acceleration. So if we look at all these equations, what are we given? And that's going to help us decide which one to use. So if you look at the first one, or if you look at the second one, notice that it doesn't have acceleration, right? It doesn't have the A variable, so it's obviously not going to be that one. And if you look at these, uh, notice how uh, these contain delta X. And we're not given delta X, so we're not going to be using those either. And the only one that is left is the first one. So we're going to be using that one, which is V equals V sub 0 plus A times T. So all we have to do is just plug in and we can solve. So V is going to be 73.14 which equals v sub 0, which in this case we know is 0, plus a, which is what we're solving for, times t, 0 0.03. So if you want to go ahead and solve 73.14, right, because we're dividing both sides, because this is going to be equal to 0 0.03a. So if we divide both sides by 0 0.03, that's going to give us a. So 73.14 divided by 0 0.03 is going to give you or is going to give that a equals 2,438. Uh, and keep in mind that acceleration is measured in meters per second squared, or whatever your velocity is with just the time squared. So in this case, it's meters per second squared. So our acceleration for a is going to be uh, 2,438 meters per second squared. Let's move on to b. So b is asking uh, how far it moved during the serve. So essentially what we're solving for is delta x. So if we look at our equations, which one can we use? So in this case, uh, all of them are wide open because we have every single variable except for delta x. Now, the only one that doesn't work would be 1 because it doesn't contain the variable delta x. And if it doesn't contain it, we wouldn't be able to solve for it. So we can't use 1, but every other one works. And I'm going to choose uh, the second one right here. So delta x equals v plus v, uh, v sub 0 over 2 times t. So if we write the equation delta x equals 
v plus v sub zero over two times t. All we have to do is plug in the variable uh, variables and it's gonna give us uh, delta x. So delta x is gonna be equal to v, which is 73.14 plus v sub zero, which in this case is zero, over two and then times t, which is 0 0.03. So essentially we're just taking 73.14, dividing by two, multiplying by 0 0.03. So 73.14, if you go ahead and divide by two, that's gonna be 36.57, and then multiply that by 0 0.03, uh, you're gonna get that delta x is gonna be equal to 1.0971. Uh, and then I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to round or however your teacher wants you to, but I'm gonna round to the tens place here. So delta x is gonna be equal to 1.1. And keep in mind that we're using meters in seconds, right? So delta x is a distance. So, right, because it says how far. So we're using a distance. So since we're using meters here, this is also gonna be in meters. So delta x is gonna be equal to 1.1 meters. So we know that the answer to b is gonna be 1.1 meters. And so yeah, that's how you solve this problem.